sugar is um, kind of an excuse for me to paint pretty stuff and uh, stuff that you know you instantly have all this positive uh, response to uh, even though maybe there's some like darkness under there. <laughs> I think Americans in general have a really kind of vexed relationship with with sugar I mean and and in particular people who live in Utah and or who come from Mormon culture which I do um, have a really intense relationship with it. I, I told the story about how uh, after I'd lived in New York for a few years and I'd go out partying with friends, I'd, you know, I, I had one friend in particular who just sort of finally shook her head and, or scratched her head and said, you know, I, I figured you out, sugar is the Mormon heroine because every time I'd go, she'd have a beer or wine and cigarettes and I'd be having the chocolate eclairs and the cannolis and uh, I'd be going nuts just as much but on the sugar. You know, we can all relate to indulgence and overindulgence, I think. And so that's more like what my work is about. It's not just about, you know, food. <laughs> it's about taking food to a whole different kind of level. Well, I've always loved um, modern artists, um, which you might not recognize right off the bat because these are representational uh, paintings, but I love Rothko and Ad Reinhardt. I love the kind of textures and the subtle kind of color play that goes on in their paintings. And if you look closely at these you'll, uh, and think of that, I think you'll, you'll see that that informs my work as well. I've always been drawn to really strong shape-oriented artwork, um, and just not just artwork, just imagery in general. And so I, I tend to have shape be a kind of a dominant um, component in my work. At a certain point, you get tired of painting the same thing over and over again. And so I specifically set out not to do that when I started painting more for myself. If someone says, I really want you to paint something um, and it doesn't really inspire me, I can either um, just let go of it and say, no, there's no way I'm ever going to paint that. Or I'll, I'll spin it into something that does seem interesting to me, and then I will. Uh, it, it can be a springboard for an idea that uh, takes a different shape. So it, it's just another way for me to kind of push, push it a little farther than uh, I originally might have. And, and I've, so I've included more and more landscape elements in, in the paintings uh, than I used to. And I think I, I'll, I'll continue to do that. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying I'll always paint candy forever either. Although, you know, every time something like this happens and more people see my work, I get a list of five times more things that people want me to paint. So, uh, you know, just kind of an indication of how powerfully uh, people feel about, um, about their, their food, their, their candy. <laughs>